Emmanuel Macron can expect absolute pandemonium and riots on the streets of France if he doesn't back down on Brexit, Boris Johnson's trade advisor told Express. Just like during the negotiations on the withdrawal agreement, French President Emmanuel Macron is being extremely stubborn with Britain. Earlier this month, the two sides were said to be close to reaching an agreement until several EU member states, spearheaded by France, raised serious doubts about the direction of talks. Paris was reportedly concerned the EU's chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier might have compromised too much on fishing rights to secure a deal. Because Mr. Macron is facing domestic threats to his re-election, political sources in France claim he would rather see the talks flounder than agree to a deal that could tempt other EU states to leave the bloc. Europe's power to protect itself from major global rivals, pandemics, economic crises, migration and climate change will be a major electoral argument for Mr. Macron as he climbs up for his 2022 re-election bid, most likely against national rally leader Marine Le Pen, who he defeated in 2017. A source said, France's stance is to show that Brexit cannot be a success. From that point of view, the prospect of no deal is not necessarily a problem. Mr. Macron's close aide Clement Bone has recently warned that France will veto a bad post-Brexit trade deal. This means that even if the two sides strike an agreement, Paris could, in theory, prevent its ratification. In an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, though, government trade advisor Shankar Singham revealed why he believes Mr. Macron will ultimately back down. He said, from a French fisherman or French farmer's point of view, consider carefully what no deal actually means. It means French fishermen will not be able to fish in the UK Exclusive Economic Zone, EEZ, at all. It means that no French lamb and beef will be able to enter the UK market at all. This is because of the way that trade is done with the UK Global Tariff and the European Common External Tariff. If you aren't in the quota that is agreed between the parties, that tariff is really high. 